Welcome to the 2019 National Heavy Boxing League Hall of Fame induction and match. We'll have the inductions first and get to the match. Uh, Gentleman Fedora, owner and founder of the NHBL, leading the broadcast side of things tonight. Uh, we will, of course, get to, we'll of course, get to all the good things later. And we'll get to the inductions first. Uh, Mr. Clayface and Snake are attending in server, and we'll get their acceptance speeches in just a moment. Uh, I'll be speak uh, speaking uh, in regards to we got to be sneaky and Lapyro, uh, as neither of them were able to attend tonight. But let me just start off with uh, this is our third year of doing the National Heavy Boxing League Hall of Fame, and each year it has been fantastic to just induct members into the hall of fame and give them the honor that they deserve and hopefully when the new map comes out for the nhbl superdome we'll of course get their source filmmaker pictures in there and have a physical hall of fame to be able to up the quality of the induction ceremonies as well as the match uh i'll start out with of course the boxers that are inducted the two competitors for the third sasha heavyweight championship we'll start out of course with the champion woo gotta be sneaky who was the first of uh, first of three competitors to uh, dethrone White Russian Bear, uh, who won the Sasha Heavyweight Championship in season two, and then of course Wu got to be sneaky in season three, managing to get over that hump against Russian Bear in the conference finals, then called the conference finals, and then to go on and win it in such fashion. Of course, he retired from the NHBL after that and chose not to participate. But, of course, as a Sasha Heavyweight Champion, a great honor for him to get inducted into the Hall of Fame. And aside from, of course, Season 7 when Russian Bear wasn't in the playoffs, that was the first time that Russian Bear, ha in participating in the NHBL, had not made it to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. But, of course, Season 7 was the first time he did not qualify for the playoffs. Uh, so we got to be sneaky making NHBL history uh, to start out there. And, of course, that what else can be said about Snake? There's a huge resume with that. Uh, he participated in Season 3, uh, dethroned the runner-up for the Sasha Heavyweight Championship from the previous season, uh, Space Sandwich Pudis Boxer, uh, in the first round, and, of course, went on to get into the championship. And falling short to Wu, got to be sneaky. I uh, believe a 6-2 to two or 6-3 to three loss. Fantastic match for him. And, of course, he participated in Season 4, uh, went on to the... Uh, conference then called the conference finals and lost to Lears, the eventual Sasha heavyweight champion uh, for season four, and then decided to step into the officiating referee role afterwards. So fantastic. So of course for him moving up the ranks from referee to senior vice president, and then to executive vice president of officiating uh, moved up to that role eventually and uh, had to step down of course due to personal reasons, but still now that he's back in TF2, his PC is working. He's uh, going to be involved in the NHBL, hopefully more so. But, uh, of course, that choice to him. Uh, the two staff members we chose to induct this year, uh, we'll start out with Lapyro, uh, the referee for the, the third Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Uh, he participated in, I believe, Season 2 and Season 3. He was an active referee, actively contributed to different NHBL events, NHBL events and stepped in whenever possible. Uh, he couldn't make it tonight, unfortunately, but congratulations to him on being inducted for his service to the league uh, and retired from officiating in the NHBL right after season three so congratulations to him on that and of course even though he is an active staff member uh the policy that we kind of have with the hall of fame at least going forward uh from here on out is that the heavy boxers have to be retired uh as of five years ago or technically five seasons ago to be eligible for the hall of fame but the staff members it's just they have to have at least five years of service to the nhbl or more um, but and of course we inducted Clayface because around that time that's where the NHBL started the whole international series involvement. Uh, it wasn't coined it coined as that they were called interpromotional fights when Clayface worked with new traders on the block. Uh, and of course with his rise up to up from new traders on the block to commentator in the league to an to an active and engaged staff member to senior vice president and then executive vice president of operations for the league he has been the largest advocate for everything international a large advocate for any type of growth of the nhbl our collision of continents our involvement in europe as well as getting our 
uh, outreach involved in other countries. We just had a few weeks ago the uh, Sao Paulo event down in Brazil. Uh, none of that would have been possible without Clayface by far. Um, and, of course, with the Collision of Continents, uh, f the first time we ever did a 4v4 event, which occurred last year, and the European finals being developed, as well as uh, the other the YouTube championships, especially with be those being our most viewed events in league history, um, just showing more to the incredible talent that uh, Clayface has in fight promotion and just the knowledge of the, of the eSport of heavy boxing has proven very great for him to be second in command essentially for the nhbl uh so a very well deserved hall of fame induction for him uh so congratulations to all four of the inductees of course thank you very much uh ladies and gentlemen staff of the nhbl fellow staff as of old i couldn't feel more humbled and happy to be part of these uh permanently cemented in this organization's shrine and hall of fame it was a long journey to get here, perhaps not as steep as, of a climb as some others, but it was a fun journey nonetheless. I enjoyed every minute of it, starting out as a boxer and then, you know, taking my uh, newfound knowledge of boxing to the staff to become a referee and to keep this league alive. It, uh, it really, it was an enlightening experience to say the least. And, uh, Hopefully those of us who are still participating in the boxing league look up to uh, what has transpired throughout the league in the last, I believe it's nine seasons, correct me if I'm wrong, as yes. an example. And perhaps now they too will be able to enjoy the league just as I have. And that's, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much to the chairman and founder of the NHBL, Gentleman Sedora, for it, everything. And thank you. Alrighty. Uh, good day, everyone. Hey. <laughs> um. So, uh, oh, five years. Uh, well, I mean, nearly five years. Were five years will be in December, but we'll just uh, say it's been five years. Um. Let me just say that. Um. <sighs> When I first came to this league as a commentator and um, someone that really loved heavy boxing since I first got on this game in 2011, when I, when I first started doing boxing fights in early 2013 uh, with the with the new traders on the block association, still, I'm going to still give kudos to those guys. We had a good time down there and... Everything was good. But when I first started doing heavy boxing, my dream was to uh, cross-promote. And that's that's when I found the, the NHBL, to cross-promote and to do something different that, that has never been done before in this game. The word, the word different to me means so much because that's what I've tried to give you guys throughout throughout these last few years i've tried to be someone who has uh given back to the steam community and the team fortress 2 community and the nhbl has given me the has, has given me the chance to to expand the heavy boxing out the heavy boxing outreach to give back to the community and to be the and to be the and to be the best boxing promoter in this game uh, and from promote the beep out of it <laughs> um let, let me just say that uh these these five years have been some of the best five years of my life i want to thank um fedora for uh, his if it wasn't for me and him if it wasn't for me actually meeting him um then I would not be uh, be uh, standing here today, and uh, and Fivador gave me the chance to to uh, give back to you guys and to you know bring bring something new to the plate every single year. I actually want to just just mention uh, Snake, and we've got to be sneaky, and and also even even Lepai. Well, the first fight 
the, the match that I saw that, that that actually got me to contact Fedora well, was the Sasha Heavyweight Championship back in Season 3. It was posted on YouTube. I just somehow just typed heavy boxing into the chat, and it came up as... Uh, since it was the season three Sasha Heavyweight Championship, that's what it came up as. I'm like, what is this? So I clicked on that, and here, here I am today. I'm standing here with with the guy that I saw on YouTube uh, five 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 years ago, and um, you know, and and Fedora is also fil- filming me, the guy I heard commentate, you know, five years ago, and it's been so great just to be uh to be a part of this and uh hopefully uh I-, I hope there's still many years to come of me of me g- giving back to you guys in the community and to give heavy boxing the the rightful place it deserves thank and now i'm an official part of the hall of fame S- something i have worked for for the last five years and, and i've given back to to, to 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 everyone so um thank you to everyone who has supported me and cheers and of course thank you fed thank you everyone who has given me this chance thank you hello everyone welcome back to the hall of fame ceremony my name is sins alongside bad bold king cool and uh we're about ready to uh, have our inaugural uh, hall of fame match uh between snake and metro two guys who've been in the league for a long time snake who obviously got inducted tonight uh, congratulations to all the inductees tonight. Uh, you know, it's been a, a cool experience. It's actually just meet, uh, meet most of them uh, through my time here at NHBL. And it's pretty cool to see them inducted and to hear the speeches. Great speeches and all. Uh, so it was a very cool, very cool moment to be with. But now we're going to get to some fighting. And boy, we like to fight here in uh, NHBL. And tonight we have a pretty good uh, match, um, a, a blast from the past, almost with Snake going up against Metro. Metro has been in the league since season two. He's still competing to this day, even on NHBL fight night. Snake, he's retired, though, went referee, uh, then retired from that then, and now he's uh, probably in some ranch somewhere uh, during his retirement. Maybe, just maybe. But tonight we'll be seeing them box again, and it's going to be a sure fire time. Won't it be there? Cool. What do you think uh, of this matchup? you got two people who've uh, known each other a little bit, never fought against each other, but they've been through the uh, same adversities through the seasons. Uh, Snake hasn't participated in a long time. Metro's been participating. How do you see this match going out? I, I personally see the matches going either way. I mean, after all, they already know both sides of the weaknesses. But hey, we could always be surprised. Yeah, of course. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing here is a uh, surprise. And we've seen a lot of big surprises and Snake has been brought a lot of them through his historic career going up against metro tonight it's going to be excited once we're going to get down there for the for the uh, warm-up rounds as they go ahead and get started the ref down there is alcatraz a new referee spogo has been training he will be getting a chance tonight to ref to call a historic match up tonight here at the hall of fame so as they uh, get started here with the uh, three rounds for the uh, warm-ups um so uh we'll just be waiting for that and let the games begin. Yeah, so warm up, so warm up rounds are commencing. Of course, uh, you know Snake hasn't participated in a long time. Uh, you might uh, might see some ring rust. Oh, oh yes, they're getting themselves all all strengthened up out there. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Metro too, like he said, like I said before, Metro's been uh, uh, participating for a while now. Obviously, since season two, he's still participating in Fight Night. It's our uh, weekly tournament that we do, and uh, Fight Night's been growing a lot mentally because of people like Metro and all those bunches still uh, uh, box and all that stuff. So it's very good to see kind of like a clash of of uh, two, uh, I guess, uh, eras, I suppose, even though they debuted. It, it makes sense in my head, and that's what we'll go with. But, uh, you know, as we go to the second start of the roundup, what are you seeing so far? Um, I know we saw Snake pull out a sandwich by accident, a little bit of ring rust there, but... Uh, see, they're, they're fighting there. What do you think, uh, how this is going? Metro gets that, that practice round in. Uh, Cole, uh, what do you see here in this practice that we might actually see in the uh, matchup coming up? Hmm. Well, I've, I, if all my experience with fighting, I have to say that the red corner is going in a little too tough. He has to let off a little easy every now and again. Otherwise, he'll risk getting himself a good old suck to the jaw. 
And yeah, and Snake has been, had a history of uh, being aggressive as well. And uh, Metro, he's had a little bit more methodical pacing. Uh, we'll see how these uh, uh, two clash tonight. Um, so like I said, it's very good uh, uh, ceremony as we saw with Snake. He's got to get that all past him because we got a hungry, hungry Metro here uh, who is, uh, you know, this victory is kind of important for him. Oh, you know, yes. He's going to... He's going to be part of uh, season nine next next season. So we, this is kind of like his warm up uh, for it. So last thing before we get started here, cool. How I just mentioned how important it was for Metro, but even for Snake, how important is this to kind of like this is like how his his uh, solidify his legacy almost. How do you think uh, 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 Snake is this in victory? How important is it for Snake? Well, I have to say, if Snake knows how to handle himself and not be too oh, too overly aggressive. He might be able to win this whole thing out. And the only thing that Metro might be eating is a one-way one -way ticket to pain. And they're uh, off, folks. Yeah, it's a, it's a going both aggressive there. Oh, Metro yes, got a little bit too aggressive oh, there. Oh, Snake well, was well, able to defend. May Snake was able to defend Metro off. Metro really going aggressive there. Uh, I know you said Snake was going to be an aggressive one, but Metro showed his aggressive side in that one, Cole. Oh, and that's me eating my own words. I gotta say, if he does, if, uh, if he, uh, Snake keeps on going like that, he might be in for a long haul. All right, so Metro getting a very slow nod there. Metro might be focusing a little bit more there. Snake missing a couple punches there. Metro is really just trying to feel him out. And Metro getting a clean shot right there, right above the chin there. Another there burst there. Oh, and Metro, missed. Yeah, Metro was able to recover there. It looked like Metro was about to miss his punches there, but it did not happen. It's all tied up now. And in that one, Metro was kind of getting a little less aggressive in that one. Kind of see what Metro usually does in a match like that. And Snake was just not able to recover. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was expecting Snake to pull one out. But apparently, a bit of humble pie is good for everyone. But this is still anyone's games, folk. You may begin when the bell rings. All right, and the bell sounds now. It's all tied up there. Metro got a clean hit there off a of snake. A little bit unexpected there, I think. A little cheap shot there. Metro was able to get Come another on, hit there. Snake, snake was able to get out of the oh, ring, but he turned his right back. out of the ring, folks. He turned, he turned his back. On Metro, and like you never turn your back on, and he was able to get a two to one victory so far, I should say, over Snake. Uh, what do you think of Metro so far there, Cole? Mm, he's coming up pretty strong. The beginning was a little rough, but I'm actually, but I'm actually rooting for the old timer. Next up is uh, Alcatraz versus the Ring Ropes. All right, so Metro and Ooh, Snake are both doing that pretty quickly. And they're wrestling, tussling, oh. and Snake was able to get the victory over there and ties it up. That's some great A, grounding and pounding there by Snake. It was able to, wow, what a great slugfest that was. Things are heating up a little bit in here, Cole. I think he should rename his name to Python because he has two of them <laughs> and he is laying them out. <laughs> oh, that was great. that was a wow for you there, Cole. <laughs> well, I gotta say, Al the ref actually got his head in the game to get out of there. <laughs> Al with, the, with the clutch of the rocket jumper, but now they're both going at it. Here they both trade off punches there. Metro has a little oh, advantage yes. there. Snake oh, a little bit oh. slow. Snake a little bit slower on the punch there. Metro was able to regain his strength there towards the end. Very steady uh uh, progress there from uh, Metro is able to three to two here in this matchup. Hmm. It looks uh, like I uh, like I was saying before. I was uh, I was nice to be humbled, and it looks like it truly is anyone's game. All right. So now Ooh, Metro, Snake missed Snake missed miss that hit there, and Metro was able to get, uh, recover there, and that was no way to get back there. Uh, Snake with that first miss is very crucial there. Metro saw it, eyed it up, and was able to get that 4-2 victory pretty quickly. Man, uh, man, if I miss a punch like that, I wouldn't have been spiked. All right, so Metro's up 4-2 in this match. And Metro was able to hit very aggressive there. Was Snake. Snake is trying to defend himself. Metro missed that one punch. Snake missed, but it's okay. It Turned out okay for Snake. It almost looked like Metro was going to get that victory there, but Snake was able to recover. This is a close one, Cole. Metro is still up four to three, though. Hmm. If, he, if Snake keeps that up, he might be able to even things out and might be able to get himself the win. 
Fight to the death. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna have to give you a warning. All right, so Metro with the warning there for uh, the uh, false start as we kick this off there. Metro doesn't want to get any more penalties. Uh, he will uh, um, definitely be losing a point there, and he does not want that. So Snake there is uh, they're probably dancing around there. Snake was able to try to hit him, but he missed there. And Metro going on the aggressive. Metro missed there, but Snake trying to move around. But when you move around, you got to stay aggressive. But he didn't, and Metro is up 5-3. to three. It is match point, ladies and gentlemen. And don't count your chickens before they hatch, son. Otherwise, you might be losing some. It's still a long time away before the game is officially over. You may start when the bell rings. All right, a point. Uh, there was a false start there against Metro, so Snake is awarded one point. All right, so Metro, not usually they always want to get the false starts, but now Snake can even tie it up easily if he beats Metro here. And that's what it is. It's clean fight here. And they both hit off punches. And they're both turning off punches there. And Snake looks like he has an upper hand, but no, oh, no, Metro was able to take it back. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner tonight, 6-4, to four, Metro. Congratulations to Metro for that great victory, Cole. What do you think of your last thoughts for this match? Hey, nothing, nothing beats the old school, baby. And it turns out Let's it's go. sometimes the old tactics are turned out to be the best. All right. Well, first of all, let me go to the winner here. Metro, you've been around for a long time, but you have never fought, uh, you never fought Snake. You and him never cro crossed paths. You were, you, you were both competing roughly the same time. What was the game plan going out there tonight? Was there anything you tried to do differently? Or what was the tactics and the feeling towards fighting Snake tonight? Yeah, to be honest, I was just kind of going to have fun as I know it was oh, a yeah. fun fighter. And uh, I just decided that uh, just for you guys, I would just uh, put on a show, you know? Yeah, of course. I mean, this, this, this wasn't exactly match it was just kind of a hall of fame one you guys wanted to go easy on each other but you guys went straight in there you guys were brawling at the start you put on a show for the twitch fans it was a it was a fantastic I fight. because uh, i don't think you want to go easy on snake isn't that something no. you want to go easy on with <laughs> or else you might get yourself hurt uh, oh of course yeah I, I mean snake looked fantastic tonight he's been out for a long time Th thank you retro for jumping in tonight ladies and gentlemen the winner for tonight metro but though the man, the man of the moment, the now the now new Hall of Famer, first time since the conference finals in season four, Snake, you have you have stepped back into the ring. You, it was a bit of ring rust tonight. Oh no, no question, no question whatsoever. Yeah, the first two rounds were pretty dicey, but it looked like at the end there I was able to get back into shape. But Metro here is just unbelievable. His technique is ferocious, and I love. But uh, so there's another new Hall of Famer tonight. What, what, what uh, will we be seeing you back in the league in the future? Is there any way we'll be seeing you back? I don't know. If there's a deadline to make that kind of decision, give it to me because you won't know until the day of. <laughs> Snake, uh, let, let me ask you one final que question here. Did, so in terms of your, your Hall of Fame, you're in the Hall of Fame now. You know, you've, you've, you've done what you had to do. You were, you were a referee. First fight for many years. What, 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 what do you have you seen for the NHBL that has, changed, that has changed over the years since you have competed? Was there anything different about how people fight back, back then and, and now? Or is it still just, you know, just sprint in there and go, go hell for leather? Uh, no question that there's definitely that element of leather on leather contact there that hardcore rush in where the blood's pumping first round you know as soon as that ring or as soon as that bell rings everybody's coming up to the middle and punching each other already but there was also a lot of uh, a lot of avoidance to contact of course that's part of technique but obviously it did wonders for uh, metro here and obviously i slipped Everyone up a couple of that too I, just, I was not adaptive to the modern day technique and so i, I, th I think it's advanced the league quite nicely